Hi, I think this is the first video I'm uploading in like a year and a half or something, um, but for some reason this evening I felt like I had the motivation to uh, make some kind of video, so here we are. Uh, and what I'm, what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, some, some different ways that you can deal with symbolic math, uh, specifically in MATLAB, to uh, give you a code that runs with much better performance, because um, oftentimes uh, you're, you'll be working with symbolic math in MATLAB because it's uh, kind of too unwieldy to do the symbolic equations by hand and kind of uh, work things out from there. Um, or you might just be ending up with expressions that are, are way too long to realistically write a function uh, to evaluate. And often the question is from there, how do you get that code to run uh, really quickly and uh, have functions that you can work with in a, in a really nice way. So we're just gonna start here by setting up uh, three symbolic variables, let's just say x, y, z, and then we're gonna make an expression that we're interested uh, in, in working with. So this, these, this could be the dynamics of your uh, dynamical system, or it could be um, uh, really, really anything you're interested in that has some kind of yucky symbolic form to it. But maybe what we're really interested in is the solution of this expression in the form of uh, x equals, and really I should be defining this as uh, equal to, to zero. So if we run this block and uh, maybe really in the end, what we want to be working with is like the second derivative of this expression with respect to y. So we might as well also take that uh, while we're at it. So this target expression you can see we're starting off with pretty small equations, but as often happens uh, in engineering, we, t we start taking derivatives and things start getting uh, yuckier and yuckier. So we have this enormous target expression that we want to evaluate efficiently. And the question is, uh, how are we going to do that? So if you just go through um, MATLAB help, you'll see stuff about using the subs function to substitute values. Uh, in, into these expressions, and as we'll see in about a minute, um, that ends up being extremely inefficient for a lot of cases. So let's just generate some input data. I have a thousand values for uh, x, y, and z, and if we run this and then just print out, uh, if we print out x, v, you can see we just have, yeah, a thousand, a thousand values between zero and one as a column vector. And in reality, uh, if you're working with if you're working with this in like a, a research context or for for a project, it's likely um, you know some sometimes you may have far more than a thousand data points that you want to substitute in. So note that this is even a, a really a really generous case here. So the first way we'll go about solving this expression and substituting our, our values in is with uh, the subs function. So the uh, subs takes in a symbolic expression and then either, uh, in this case I'm using a cell array, but this could, this could just be um, a, a normal array of your, uh, uh, the, the symbolic variables, and then a cell array of the values that you want to actually um, kind of input for all of those variables. And then uh, we have to take the result of that substitution, see I can just run this by itself, and because of how MATLAB works, the, the lovely way that MATLAB works, even though all of these outputs um, are, are literally just real num, or actually they, they, they might be complex, but um, even though these are just numbers, it doesn't, it doesn't just show you the number, it, it keeps it in this weird uh, quote-unquote symbolic form where all of the floating point values are are represented by these enormous fractions. Now we could make this slightly nicer by running um, VPA on it, which uh, turns these into um, variable precision uh, kind of expressions here. And you can see, yeah, we do have some complex values. That's really irrelevant here. But what we're going to do is cast these uh, to, to double, which you'll see um, when I run this here. Uh, you can see it took it took 0.75 seconds to substitute a thousand values in. Now that might sound that might sound fine, but remember that this is this is probably going to scale 
roughly linearly with the number of, of inputs that we, we put in. So once you get up to uh, a million, you're probably dealing with over a second of, uh, or sorry, um, not, not a second, over what like 10 minutes of, of runtime so that's probably not something you're you're super interested in so now the question is okay if subs isn't really doing it for us if that's not giving us good performance uh, when, when we're trying to solve uh, these symbolic expressions well what can we do and the answer is this uh, amazing little function that i learned about a couple weeks ago uh, which has a very funny name it's called matlab function it's a MATLAB function called MATLAB function. And what MATLAB function does is it takes in a target expression or, or a symbolic expression, and it turns it into an anonymous function handle. So you may have, uh, if you're in engineering, you may have seen or worked with anonymous functions without realizing it when you're calling things like ODE45, uh, where you may have had to make an anonymous function when you were putting your uh, your derivative function into ODE45, but all this is is a function uh, without a name. That's why it's called anonymous. So you don't you don't call it with uh, some some specific name, but it's attached to this variable once we uh, once we set it here. And then I'll just run this separately. You can see this by itself computes uh, computes quite quite quickly. And then we can just take this function handle and it takes the same inputs or uh, really, it's cut Z out because Z isn't uh, uh, in any of the right-hand side here. And it does exactly the same computation, except it's in the form of a function that lives in, in memory. In, or uh, I, I actually may have that wrong. I, I'm not exactly sure where MATLAB functions uh, live, per se. But it's in this form that isn't symbolic anymore. So we can plug in values here, and I chose some pretty bad ones apparently, but we can plug values in and it computes them uh, uh, just very easily for us. And you can see that how, how it's set up is everything is in element-wise operations unless you've uh, kind of, unless there's matrix operations going on in your expression, everything's set up to be element-wise. So when we run this, uh, we can see that instead of taking 0.7 seconds to substitute all our values, it's taken 0.02 seconds, which is you know, um, if I run this again, we might, yeah, see, sometimes we get much better performance depending on, uh, depending on how many, uh, or what, what the random variables are, what our, what our inputs are. Um, but let's actually, let's actually up this. So let's say we have a million values and we're also doing this substitution here. Let's see how fast it is. So you can see with uh, a million values as opposed to a thousand were still about five times faster than using the substitution uh, method directly, which would still be running, uh, by the way, if we if we had started that. Let's, I don't know, let's go crazy. Let's just try, let's try 10 million. This should, um, uh, this should be a relatively linear uh, increase here. Yeah. Uh, pretty much linear. So uh, it, it, it took a factor of 10,000 more input variables for uh, this method to be slightly slower than the direct substitution. So uh, all, all this is to say whenever you're working with symbolic variables uh, in MATLAB and you have symbolic functions that you're, you're substituting values in and you're kind of worried about the, the performance that you're getting with your code, uh, I would really recommend looking into doing it in terms of anonymous functions, uh, using MATLAB function to convert your expressions, your symbolic expressions into anonymous functions, uh, and then calling those from there and you'll get uh, m significantly better performance uh, for your code. So like I said, I have no idea why I'm uploading now after a year and a half, but this might be a, a little series that I try to do. Um, just giving people some cool uh, MATLAB tricks that they can use for research, homework projects, uh, whatever.